In the conduct of a clinical trial, a sponsor is an individual, institution, company or organization that takes the responsibility to initiate, manage or finance the clinical trial, but does not actually conduct the investigation. The sponsor should implement a system to manage quality throughout all stages of the trial process. Sponsors should focus on trial activities essential to ensuring human subject protection and the reliability of trial results. Quality management includes the design of efficient clinical trial protocols and tools and procedures for data collection and processing, as well as the collection of information that is essential to decision-making. The quality management system should use a risk-based approach as described below. Critical Process and Data Identification During protocol development, the sponsor should identify those processes and data that are critical to ensure human subject protection and the reliability of trial results. Risk Identification The sponsor should identify risks to critical trial processes and data. Risks should be considered at both the system level such as standard operating procedures, computerized systems, and personnel, and clinical trial level, such as trial design, data collection, and informed consent process. Risk Evaluation The sponsor should evaluate the identified risks against existing risk controls by considering the likelihood of errors occurring, the extent to which such errors would be detectable, and the impact of such errors on human subject protection and reliability of trial results. Risk control. The sponsor should decide which risks to reduce and which risks to accept. The approach used to reduce risk to an acceptable level should be proportionate to the significance of the risk. Risk reduction activities may be incorporated in protocol design and implementation. Monitoring plans. Agreements between parties defining roles and responsibilities. Systematic safeguards to ensure adherence to standard operating procedures and training in processes and procedures. Predefined quality tolerance limits should be established, taking into consideration the medical and statistical characteristics of the variables as well as the statistical design of the trial to identify systematic issues that can impact subject safety or reliability of trial results. Detection of deviations from the predefined quality tolerance limits should trigger an evaluation to determine if action is needed. Risk communication. The sponsor should document quality management activities. The sponsor should communicate quality management activities to those who are involved in or affected by such activities to facilitate risk review and continual improvement during clinical trial execution. Risk review. The sponsor should periodically review risk control measures to ascertain whether the implemented quality management activities remain effective and relevant, taking into account emerging knowledge and experience. Risk reporting. The sponsor should describe the quality management approach implemented in the trial and summarize important deviations from the predefined quality tolerance limits and remedial actions taken in the clinical study report. A sponsor may transfer any or all of the sponsor's trial-related duties and functions to a CRO, but the ultimate responsibility for the quality and integrity of the trial data always resides with the sponsor. The CRO should implement quality assurance and quality control. Any trial-related duty and function that is transferred to and assumed by a CRO should be specified in writing. Any trial-related duties and functions not specifically transferred to and assumed by a CRO are retained by the sponsor. All references to a sponsor in the GCP guideline also apply to a CRO to the extent that a CRO has assumed the trial-related duties and functions of a sponsor. The sponsor should designate appropriately qualified medical personnel who will be readily available to advise on trial-related medical questions or problems. If necessary, outside consultants may be appointed for this purpose. The sponsor should utilize qualified individuals such as biostatisticians, clinical pharmacologists, and physicians throughout all stages of the trial process, from designing the protocol and planning the analyses to analyzing and preparing interim and final clinical trial reports. The sponsor should utilize appropriately qualified individuals to supervise the overall conduct of the trial, to handle the data, to verify the data, to conduct the statistical analyses, and to prepare the trial reports.
The sponsor may consider establishing an Independent Data Monitoring Committee, or IDMC, to assess the progress of a clinical trial, including the safety data and the critical efficacy endpoints at intervals, and to recommend to the sponsor whether to continue, modify, or stop a trial. The IDMC should have written operating procedures and maintain written records of all its meetings. If data are transformed during processing, it should always be possible to compare the original data and observations with the process data. The sponsor should use an unambiguous subject identification code that allows identification of all the data reported for each subject. The sponsor or other owners of the data should retain all of the sponsor-specific essential documents pertaining to the trial. The sponsor should retain all sponsor-specific essential documents in conformance with the applicable regulatory requirements of the countries where the product is approved or where the sponsor intends to apply for approvals. If the sponsor discontinues the clinical development of an investigational product for any or all indications, routes of administration, or dosage forms, the sponsor should maintain all sponsor-specific essential documents for at least two years after formal discontinuation or in conformance with the applicable regulatory requirements. If the sponsor discontinues the clinical development of an investigational product, the sponsor should notify all the trial investigators and all the regulatory authorities. Any transfer of ownership of the data should be reported to the appropriate authorities as required by the applicable regulatory requirements. The sponsor is responsible for selecting the investigators or institutions. Each investigator should be qualified by training and experience and should have adequate resources to properly conduct the trial for which the investigator is selected. Before entering an agreement with an investigator to conduct a trial, the sponsor should provide the investigator with the protocol and an up-to-date investigator's brochure and should provide sufficient time for the investigator to review the protocol and the information provided. Allocation of Responsibilities Prior to initiating a trial, the sponsor should define, establish, and allocate all trial-related duties and functions. The financial aspects of the trial should be documented in an agreement between the sponsor and the investigator or institution. The sponsor should provide insurance or should indemnify the investigator and the institution against claims arising from the trial, except for claims that arise from malpractice or negligence. The sponsor's policies and procedures should address the costs of treatment of trial subjects in the event of trial-related injuries in accordance with the applicable regulatory requirements. Notification and submission to regulatory authorities. Before initiating the clinical trials, the sponsor should submit any required applications to the appropriate authorities for review, acceptance, and permission to begin the trials. Any notification or submission should be dated and contain sufficient information to identify the protocol. Confirmation of review by IRB. The sponsor should obtain from the investigator or institution the name and address of the investigators or institutions IRB. A statement obtained from the IRB that it is organized and operates according to GCP and the applicable laws and regulations. And documented IRB approval and a current copy of protocol. Written informed consent forms and any other written information to be provided to subjects. Subject recruiting procedures and documents related to payments and compensation available to the subjects, and any other documents that the IRB may have requested. If the IRB conditions its approval upon changes in any aspect of the trial, such as modifications of the protocol, written informed consent form and any other written information to be provided to subjects or other procedures, the sponsor should obtain from the investigator a copy of the modifications made and the date approval was given by the IRB. The sponsor should obtain from the investigator documentation and dates of any IRB reapprovals and of any withdrawals or suspensions of approval. Information on investigational products. When planning trials, the sponsor should ensure that sufficient safety and efficacy data from non clinical studies and clinical trials are available to support human exposure by the route, at the dosages, for the duration, and in the trial population to be studied. The sponsor should update the investigator's brochure as significant new information becomes available.
manufacturing, packaging, labeling, and coating investigational products. The sponsor should ensure that the investigational products, including active comparators and placebo, are characterized as appropriate to the stage of development of the products, is manufactured in accordance with any applicable GMP, and is coated and labeled in a manner that protects the blinding. In addition, the labeling should comply with applicable regulatory requirements. The sponsor should determine, for the investigational products, acceptable storage temperatures, storage conditions, storage times, reconstitution fluids and procedures, and devices for product infusion. The sponsor should inform all involved parties these determinations. The investigational products should be packaged to prevent contamination and unacceptable deterioration during transport and storage. In blinded trials, the coating system for the investigational products should include a mechanism that permits rapid identification of the products in case of a medical emergency, but does not permit undetectable breaks of the blinding. If significant formulation changes are made in the investigational or comparator products during the course of clinical development, the results of any additional studies of the formulated products needed to assess whether these changes would significantly alter the pharmacokinetic profile of the product should be available prior to the use of the new formulation in clinical trials. Supplying and Handling Investigational Products The sponsor is responsible for supplying the investigator with the investigational products. The sponsor should not supply an investigator with the investigational products until the sponsor obtains all required documentation. The sponsor should ensure that written procedures include instructions that the investigator should follow for the handling and storage of investigational products for the trial and documentation thereof. The procedures should address adequate and safe receipt, handling, storage, dispensing, retrieval of unused product from subjects, and return of unused investigational products to the sponsor. Record access. The sponsor should ensure that it is specified in the protocol or other written agreement that the investigators provide direct access to source data or documents for trial-related monitoring, IRB review, and regulatory inspection. The sponsor should verify that each subject has consented, in writing, to direct access to his or her original medical records for trial-related monitoring, IRB review, and regulatory inspection. Adverse Drug Reaction Reporting The sponsor should expedite the reporting to all concerned investigators, to the IRBs, and to the regulatory authorities of all adverse drug reactions or ADRs that are both serious and unexpected. Such expedited reports should comply with the applicable regulatory requirements and with the ICH Guideline for Clinical Safety Data Management, Definitions and Standards for Expedited Reporting. The sponsor should submit to the regulatory authorities all safety updates and periodic reports, as required by applicable regulatory requirements. Premature termination or suspension of a trial If a trial is prematurely terminated or suspended, the sponsor should promptly inform the investigators and the regulatory authorities of the termination or suspension and the reasons for the termination or suspension. The IRB should also be informed promptly and provided the reasons for the termination or suspension by the sponsor or by the investigator, as specified by the applicable regulatory requirements. Clinical Trial and Study Reports Whether the trial is completed or prematurely terminated, the sponsor should ensure that the clinical trial reports are prepared and provided to the regulatory agencies as required by the applicable regulatory requirements. The sponsor should also ensure that the clinical trial reports in marketing applications meet the standards of the ICH guideline for structure and content of clinical study reports. In summary, sponsors are primarily responsible for selecting investigators, providing them with the information necessary to conduct a trial, monitoring the investigation, ensuring that it is conducted in accordance with the general investigational plan and protocols and informing investigators or the authorities of any new risks or adverse effects associated with a drug.